best friends! Welcome back to my channel and first of all, before we even get started, do not mind my messy messy frizzy hair. I'm trying to nurse it back to health, so I'm not curling it, I'm not straining it, and I'm just overall giving it a little break from all things heat. But yeah, we're gonna do our best to get through it and I think it's gonna be okay. So for today's video, I am so 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 excited to let you guys in on my little accessories haul. If you watched my last update video, you actually know that I just came back from LA. So in this haul, I'm gonna show you all things to do with accessories. So I got hats, I got shoes, I got bags, I got other like little dainty detailed accessories that I'm so excited to show you. So without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some hats because when you go to LA, you gotta pick up some hats even though I didn't get any sun. But anyway, I think it's perfect for the springtime. You guys know that baseball caps have been literally all the rage and I got three different ones. Um, this is the first one that I picked up. I thought it was pretty appropriate because it had an H on it, because H, Haley, hi, nice to meet you. So I really like this one. This one is actually from H&M. If I could find it, I'm definitely gonna link it down below. In the back of the hat says Harvard, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just gonna pretend like I was, you know, some very smart law student, which I wasn't. But either way, I really like this hat. I think it's really cute. Navy is definitely one of my favorite colors and I just really like it as like a cute baseball cap that will pretty much match everything. And the next one is while I was in LA, I had to get an LA Dodgers hat because were you really in LA if you don't have some kind of representation from it? And yes, it looks a lot better when my hair is actually done or in a ponytail or anything like that. I love pulling like the little ponytails through. It gives it such a cute, casual, chic look. I'm really into it and I love this color. I've been looking for a nude hat for a really long time and I already took a couple shots of this hat on Instagram if you guys do want to go check that out. And the last one I got has been so trendy on Instagram. You guys know I love Adidas and I love pink. So this is like the perfect combination of both. Again, oh my gosh, my hair is so messy, but I love, 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 love this hat. This is definitely my favorite one. This kind of like vintage looking pink. I'm obsessed with it. Lately, my wardrobe has been a lot of neutrals, so I wear lots of blacks, grays, um, nudes, that kind of stuff. So I like adding a little pop of color by adding some kind of accessory. And a hat is a perfect way to do that, especially if you're not having a great hair day. So I'm really happy that I picked this one up too. And both of those two are from Lids, and it was buy one get one half off, which made it even better. Going off on my next obsession, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some shoes that I picked up. And these are the first ones, and oh, I've been looking for these everywhere. I'm so freaking happy that I found them. They are the Adidas NMDs. These shoes are so freaking comfortable, they're so stylish, so cute, and they're so versatile too. You can wear them just like as a casual tennis shoe to go with your outfit, but I actually worked out in these and I really like them for working out upper body days because lower body days, they're definitely like too elevated. You don't want to be squatting in shoes that have like some kind of heel in it. You want shoes to be as flat as possible and I'm just so happy that I got them because I can wear them to the gym as many times as I want and in the gym they wouldn't get ruined. They would stay white and clean, which is why I love it. So the next two pairs of shoes are no doubt my favorite like shoes that I own. You guys know I love tennis shoes. I can never get enough sneakers. That's probably the biggest obsession of all that I have. I've never been to Ross's Ross department store in the States. There, I just discovered so many like branded items for like really cheap, freaking affordable prices. So these are the two pairs of shoes that I got. These are Tommy Hilfiger sneakers and I just think that they're freaking adorable. I mean, honestly, I've been looking for blush pink sneakers for a while, but they're so crazy expensive. It's as if like, as soon as something becomes this color, it doubles in price. It's actually ridiculous. And I got these for 25 bucks. Like, I don't know if this is normal in the States, maybe, but in Canada, if you guys want to get like a branded pair of good tennis shoes, you're going to be paying at least 60, 70, 80 dollars at least. And the fact that these are Tommy, so cute and I love 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 this little logo and then I actually got the same shoe in a different style from there as well and it's also these Tommy shoes but these are just classic white tennis shoes and these are so 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 cute too obviously they have like the old school colors here of the Tommy logo I'm really into it and I love that it's actually textured so you guys can see it has like a nice texture on the side so they're not just plain and white but these are so perfect they're like amazing go-to casual shoes to wear with anything literally anything I'm just so happy about them and I can't wait to style them when it gets warmer outside so the next accessory that I picked up from Ross as well was actually this cute little backpack 
It is just so cool. I've actually never seen this style backpack of Calvin Klein before. I really like it. I like that the logo is kind of going throughout. I'm really into like the nude colors also and it's really easy to match with pretty much everything. And the reason as to why I needed it is because I am still in school and I have one summer school left before I graduate my university and it kind of opens up like this. You guys can detach the string and it's kind of like a drawstring bag. You have space to put your laptop in the flap right there and it's just really handy, really convenient and it looks very cute. The original price of this was $260 on the bag, so the fact that I got this for 50 bucks, score. We're actually almost done, we are powering through guys. So the next thing I have to show you is actually a recent obsession that I've had. I used to sport these all the time. Guys, bandanas have been my life lately. I don't even know how to explain it, especially if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw a picture or two of me sporting these bandanas. I'm into like scarves in general, but I really like the colors and patterns of these. So I really like these. I can wear them in so many different ways, which is amazing. I just roll them from the bottom to the long parts, just like that, so it's like straight. And then I go ahead and proceed with my hairstyles. You could either like do a bun and just incorporate it like this. So I go like that and I just pull it through and then just make a little tie at the front. I have to really like take off the tags of all of these, just like that. But I love it guys, it is actually such a look and that was created in like two seconds. It's such an easy way to just amp up pretty much any outfit that you have and if your hair is not looking its best and you wanna put it up in a bun but add a little classy twist to it, I think it's really cute. But styling these bandanas has been so easy and so simple and now that it's springtime, I really have a feeling like scarves and bandanas as hair accessories is gonna be coming back. So if you guys do want to see a way to style bandanas, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below that it's something you're interested in and I will definitely film that for you ASAP. There's actually two more things I wanted to show you. They're not necessarily accessories, but I just got them in the mail so I said might as well throw them in here. Um, the first is actually what I'm wearing. I'm gonna have to back you guys up for this. And it's actually like this tracksuit that I got from Shein. I love it. Honestly, it's a little bit too cropped for me here, but because the pants can go up so high, I don't mind it. It doesn't show too much tummy. But again, it's one of those things that I would probably just wear at home. So if you guys are interested in like checking it out, I will link this down below as well. And there was one more thing that I actually got from Shein I wanted to show you as well. Um, this is it. It's a leather jacket and I've been looking for a really nice leather jacket for a while. And even though I'm not vegan or anything, I obviously prefer not to buy real leather if I don't have to. So this is a really, really cute jacket as an alternative. It's actually so nice. I love it. It looks so cool. And even with this bandana, it's like such a look, you know what I mean? But yeah, guys, that is it. That is everything I wanted to show you for like my LA spring accessories haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That honestly helps me out a lot. Again, comment down below. If you liked any of these pieces, which is your favorite, if you guys are interested in seeing the bandana video, let me know and I would really like to post that for you as well. But yeah, I'm so excited to get back in the group of things. And if you are watching up to now and you don't already know, then hi, my name is Haley. It is so nice to meet you. I would really love it if you subscribe and join our awesome Halo fam. Honestly, our fam has grown so much, especially when I was in LA. People were messaging me saying that they were like living in LA and they wanted to go out to lunch and stuff. Guys, you don't understand. I love you all so much. Thank you all even for like caring to watch my videos. It's the best feeling in the world. And I love that our family has grown to like over 35,000 at this point. It's unreal. Thank you all so much for your love and support. And I can't wait to see you next time for another video.